Sixth grade, unit one, lesson 13, polyhedra. Number one, select all the polyhedra. Singular is polyhedron, plural is polyhedra. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure with faces that are polygonal regions, which are filled in polygons. Each face meets one and only one other face along a complete edge. The points where edges meet are called vertices. Here are three examples of polyhedra. Figure A is a polyhedron. Figure B is a polyhedron. And figure D is a polyhedron. The other two figures are not polyhedrons. Number 2A. Is this polyhedron a prism, a pyramid, or neither? Explain how you know. It's a prism. It has two parallel octagonal bases that are identical in size. B. How many faces, edges, and vertices does it have? First, let's count the faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these two bases are also considered faces. So eight, plus 2 equals 10. This has a total of 10 faces. Now the edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 8 edges on base 1 and 8 edges on base 2 for a total of 16 edges on the bases. Plus there's another 8 edges that run between each of the 8 faces. So there's a total of 24 edges. Now let's count the vertices. There's a total of 8 vertices on base 1 and a total of 8 vertices on base 2 for a total of 16 vertices altogether. Number 3. Tyler said this net cannot be a net for a square prism because not all the faces are squares. Do you agree with Tyler's statement? Explain your reasoning. I think that Tyler must be thinking of a cube. If all the faces were squares, then this net would form a cube. I disagree. A square prism must have square bases, but may have rectangular faces like these. Number 4. Explain why each of the following triangles has an area of 9 square units. Triangle A is going to be exactly half of its base times height, or half of 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. The area of triangle A is 9 square units. The area of triangle B is going to be half of its base times its height, or half of 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. The area of triangle B is 9 square units. The area of triangle C is going to be half of its base times its height, or half of 6 times 3. And 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. The area of triangle C is 9 square units. Number 5. A. A parallelogram has a base of 12 meters and a height of 1 and 5 tenths meters. What is its area? For a parallelogram, you're going to do base times height to find the area. So 12 meters times 1 and 5 tenths meters equals 18 square meters. The area for this parallelogram is 18 square meters. B. A triangle has a base of 16 inches and a height of 1 eighth of an inch. What is its area? The area equals half of 16 inches multiplied by 1 eighth of an inch, or 1 square inch. The area of this triangle is 1 square inch. C. 
A parallelogram has an area of 28 square feet and a height of 4 feet. What is its base? So now they've given us the area and the height, so we need to figure out the base. 28 square feet, or the area, divided by 4 feet, or the height, will give us the base. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. The base of this parallelogram is 7 feet in length. D. A triangle has an area of 32 square millimeters and a base of 8 millimeters. What is its height? We can use the area of a parallelogram to help us find the missing height. The area of a triangle is half the area of a parallelogram. Since the area of this triangle is 32 square millimeters, the area of a parallelogram would be 64 square millimeters. The area divided by the base, or 64 divided by 8, equals the missing height. Since 8 multiplied by 8 equals 64, then the missing height must be 8 millimeters. Number 6. Find the area of the shaded region. Show or explain your reasoning. The shaded region has a base that measures 6 plus 2 plus 6, or 14 centimeters. The shaded region has a height of 2 centimeters plus 3 centimeters, or 5 centimeters. Since the shaded region has the shape of a triangle with a square taken out of it, I decided to use the formula for finding the area of a triangle half of base times height, or base times height divided by 2. So 14 times 5, and 14 times 5 is 70, and 70 divided by 2, or half of 70, is 35. Next we need to remove the square from the shaded region, and the base and the height of that square is 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters, and 2 times 2 is 4. So the area of the square is 4, and 35 minus 4 is 31. The area of the shaded region is 31 square centimeters.